<laughs> Hi there, my brain watch. This is Joshua there. Dude. Coming at you today. How you doing? So, um, I had had a, I have had a question given to me by certain individuals on the interwebs. Oh, that's bright. Let's turn it around. So they have asked me. They basically they came to me and said, "Listen, they saw, they saw my video on the." freaking giants and blah, blah, blah. And they're like, I don't, I don't know. I have a hard time believing in the Bible because this says the giants existed. I, that's a, that's a reasonable thing that they have a hard time, you know, believing if, if it existed. But then, but then I asked them, I said, okay, so do you believe that dinosaurs existed? And they're like, yes, I believe that dinosaurs existed. I'm like, okay. So if you believe the dinosaurs existed, why? Well, it's like, because there's evidence. I'm like, okay, do you believe in the missing link? And they're like, yes. Do you know why it's called the missing link? Why? Because they haven't found it yet. <laughs> okay, just because they haven't found evidence of it does not mean it doesn't exist. But science is, is believes wholeheartedly that there is a missing link. The problem is, is that in our culture today, we are told to trust in science. We trust in science with everything that we have. So when science tells us something to be true, whether they have evidence for it or not, we believe it. And that's just how it works. Now, why can't we have that same faith with God? When we have that faith with God, we put our trust in God. We believe everything that God tells us. And then when there's a, something that we don't have any evidence for yet, we put our faith in him and, wait for, and, and, and believe that it is true until, you know, until we find that evidence. So um, science is continually to look for evidence of the missing link and more power to them. I believe that there is a missing link out there somewhere probably, but that does not negate the fact that there also could be other types of humans out there, you know, ones that are ginormous and that um, fell by the wayside and died out. Um, just because there is no evidence of them does not mean that they did not exist. But we have historical evidence and in the fact of, you know, writings by the Jews that they did exist. So, you know, either you can put your trust in science or you can put your trust in God. The difference is, is when you put your trust in God, you have to put your trust, you have to prove God. And in science, you try to disprove science. That is the difference. Really, that's what it boils down to. Either you're proving God or you're disproving science. If you try to disprove God, if you try and disprove God, it won't work because God will not, um, he, he won't prove himself to anybody unless you prove him to you. Like, if you say, God, show me a sign that you exist, God's like, no, put your faith in me and I will show you that I exist. I, I, God does not submit himself to men. Men submit him, themselves to God. And then God, out of his benevolence, gives to those that submit him, themselves to him. Science, on the other hand, is just, you know, we basically find out facts and we, you know, test them and throw them out and blah, 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 blah. But ironically, it's like everything that we've ever discovered gets thrown out eventually when it comes to science because there's always exceptions to every rule. I mean, like... <clears throat> they believe in relativity, or the theory of relativity, rel relativity, relativity, you know, Einstein's theory, uh, where, you know, all these, you know, space-time continuum, blah, blah, blah. But then if you look at, um, uh, what is it, uh, M-theory, M-theory talks about how um, the, the uncertainty principle, where you cannot know both the location and the speed of an object, I think it is, or something like that. Basically, uh, I, I, Heisenberg uncertainty principle. There it is, and uh, basically, <clears throat> they don't they don't work. <laughs> the uh, Einstein's theory of relativity and the, Heise the the uncertainty principle don't work together. They they don't even exist in the same plane. So they kind of contradict each other. So obviously, they don't have a full understanding of something. But they believe wholeheartedly. They believe that there is a way that these will work together. And spiritually speaking, we can do the same thing. Science is the same thing as faith. They just prove, they just find truth in two different ways. Science finds truth by disproving. And, and faith has, finds proof by proving. 
God says, do this and I will show myself to you. And so you do this and God shows himself to you. And he says, do this and I will prove it. And you do that and it proves it. He's only going to prove it to you. He's not going to prove it to anybody else. But if you do one scripture, he'll prove it to you. You do another scripture, he'll prove that to you. You do another scripture, he'll prove that to you. And the more scripture you prove, the more faith you have in God and the more connected you are to God. And it's just this continuing cycle. So... I don't know. I hope this answers your question because it was a great question. And I, I really think that a lot of people suffer from the same kind of feeling of confusion uh, about these things in the Bible. I don't see there being any possible... Why couldn't there be larger humans? I mean, they found huge freaking saber-toothed cats. They found miniature elephants. You know what I'm saying? They, It's like they found massive three-toed sloths. Why can't there be freaking massive humans? So anyway... Um, just my thoughts. Uh, I'm the heretic. Uh, I love you all a long time. Uh, and uh, I will talk at you later. Peace out. Oh, by the way, um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to answer. Anything concerning spirituality, Bible, God, anything like that. I, I love answering them. So, um, yeah, keep the questions coming. They're awesome. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Peace out.